Now, Nathan Carter joins us now, or Nate the Camellia, uh, mm. to talk about a bit of an interesting journey that's taking place in the very near future. I'm going to let him tell the story because um, it's, it's one too good to mess up. Good morning, Nathan. Good morning. Thanks for coming in. Oh, thanks for having me. Now, you've uh, started up a little bit of a, a, a bit of a process called Into the Rising Sun. Yeah, we're calling it an, an initiative, but it's basically a journey, and it's a journey across Australia on camels. Now, this journey's been done before, but um, not from Perth to Melbourne. Not as far as I know, and, and uh, at least I've never done it before. So, um, yeah, we are heading across Australia. There's four of us and three camels. Fantastic. Why are you doing this? Why, what inspired you to travel across Australia on camels? Look, it started as a distraction, actually, Anita, but, um, and then, then a challenge and then a dream, and, then, and now it's actually come to the, come to the fray, but um, I, don't, I don't know how it, it's just happened. And, um, but the actual inspiration, I suppose, is, is essentially that dream I had once um, just to cross Australia. And um, why not? Nathan, I had a dream once to cross Australia and I got a train. Oh, okay. <laughs> now, did you catch <laughs> So you're loading up with three camels and heading off now. There's a bit of a backstory here, isn't there? What, is, is it true you're a contestant on Deal or No Deal? That is true, yes. So you're famous. That's true. Uh, that's not true. But I was a contestant on Deal or No Deal. <laughs> Um, that happened actually earlier this year and they, um, they asked me if, um, what, what I'd do if money wasn't an obstacle and I said, oh, look, I had to have a bit of a think about it and I thought maybe, maybe I'll cross Australia on that camel, that, that dream I had a long time ago. Sure enough, next thing I was telling a national audience about this <laughs> and um, now having won uh, some money and enough to get started, I've sort of got to come good on that as well. So, um, you know, that, that's where that's coming from as well. We find out that same problem all the time. We say we're going to go and do boot camp and then we're running around on a Saturday. So um, that, that must have been like a bit of a life-changing event. But um, and So obviously you won a bit of coin on uh, Deal or No Deal, but how are you funding the trip? Well, self-funding the trip from the, look, it was $12,000 that I uh, made, which was um, enough to get my camels, my saddles and my water, my water How much bottles. is a camel these days? Oh, it depends on the condition, but you don't want to skimp on it uh, for a journey like this. I reckon it's worth getting a good one. Yeah, good, good, good service history. Yeah, good yeah. service history, yeah, yeah. Fully uh, trained up and the whole thing. Buffed hump, yeah. Yeah, buffed hump. Polished up, the whole thing. Nice one. So, so what about... No, no, I want to know. How much is a camel? Oh, how much is a camel? Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to avoid your question there. That's what um, happens all the time. They could go from, um, look, a thousand dollars up to you know um i think the meat price is about six dollars uh, 85 <laughs> a, a kilo but, that's, a um, that's, that's there's kids watching that's a trading oh, value, no, trading that's, value. That's, that's a trading value <laughs> <laughs> nathan where did this fasc fascination with camels come from um actually it, it started as a distraction when i was studying and i was studying with a really good mate of mine and um, we're working on a project and I was sick of working on the project and I thought, look, I'd rather be doing anything else right now and, um, look, maybe travel across Australia. And I thought, oh, how else could you do it rather than just doing it like, um, you know, catching the train like yourself? Boring people, yeah. And I thought, oh, maybe I could uh, put sheep in a harness or um, ride a kangaroo or whatever. <laughs> right. But, um, look, I don't know. And I just, started, harness, I just started brainstorming and my mate Damien, who's coming on the trip, he said just... Um, you know, stop, stop talking about this stupid trip and get back to work. And sure enough, it's six years later, um, yeah. he's, he's coming on the trip and, and the trip is happening. And so um, that's, that's that. So wow. are you, you going to use roads at all? What route are you following? How long is it going to take you to get from Perth to Melbourne with a camel? With three. <laughs> with three camels. And um, we'll, we'll head up to Kalgoorlie, um, leaving from the Kalamunda Camel Farm. So um, heading up the Goldfields Pipeline, which is that famous pipeline that goes all the way up to Kalgoorlie. And so, um, you know, I guess we can't get lost because there's this third... C.Y. O'Connor C.Y. O'Connor, that's right. <laughs> Took a while. <laughs> I was rattling around the back there. So, but, yeah, so you're following the pipeline out to Kalgoorlie and then across the desert? Um, actually heading south to Norseman and across, uh, across, I guess that's the big stretch there, across the Nullarbor. Uh, we will be on roads, we will be going through towns, but essentially we are keen to get off-road as well because the camel just lends itself so well to mm. being able to do that. The, the best, um, best four-wheel drives I've come across yet. <laughs> what does your mother think of this? My mum, I did call her from Perth when, um, when I came over because, um, because I was living in Melbourne at the time and um, she just sort of said, um, you've been talking about this for a long time and now it's <laughs> happening. So um, she's actually a little bit excited about the whole thing. Okay. Except she's into horses and I don't, I don't know anything about horses <laughs> oh, at all. Oh, they're far too fast and flat. Yeah, yeah. yeah. 
what I'm curious about is how did you sign your mates up? Now, yeah. I've, been, I've been involved in some pretty yeah. uh, last minute random sort of pranks. In fact, I'm sort of probably the person who'd say yes, but how did you rope your mates in? Well, that did take a lot of convincing, actually, because, um, you know, you want, you want your mates to be part of it. Now, Damien, who invited me to be on Deal or No Deal and was, the, um, was my mate study, he um, obviously had to come through with it because he was there at the inception of the dream. Yeah. And then um, Brad, who's my uncle, he wanted to get on board because he sold his business after 25 years and said, go to the desert, that sounds like a good idea to me. <laughs> and, um, and the final one, my best mate Leon, he... Um, he wasn't, he wasn't all that convinced and he did, um, it wasn't until he actually did a tarot reading and it came up with a camel card that um, he was able to come on board after that. Now that's, that's just him and um, you know if that's, that works for him then um, welcome aboard so I someone say. was telling me, now I've noticed a bit of a mathematical problem here Nate, you've got like Go ahead. four people, three camels, who's walking or who's double dinking? <laughs> double dinking. <laughs> uh, look we're all going to be walking, we've got um, all those supplies that need to go on the camels, uh, water, food. Um, you know, just other, other bits and pieces, clothes and stuff. So uh, essentially we're walking for the first part and we're looking forward to, um, to riding the second part. Now we are going to lose two people um, and we do know who they are and uh, <laughs> okay, they're actually so leaving. So when we say lose, <laughs> no, we're not planned losing loss, them. Planned loss. Planned loss and they're going to be um, leaving at uh, either Kalgoorlie or Norseman. But um, thereafter it'll just be two people and three camels and uh, Brad and I will be riding the way. Now, Nathan, this is not just an adventure. You are actually doing this for a good cause. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Look, Aussie helpers do a wonderful, a wonderful job out there in the, with the bush because um, the drought's really affected, um, crippling the nation. It's the worst drought in, um, in history and people need to, need to be aware of it. I mean, whilst, whilst the people out there in the bush are suffering, it's, um, it does, it's felt on the, um, in, in your grocery section, I suppose, is, um, is the only effect that city people have with the drought. And so, um, yeah, Aussie Helpers are doing a wonderful job out there rebuilding the bush is their program, and we'd like to help them out as well. So um, one of the ways that people can get involved is go to my website and um, donate to Drought Relief, and um, that would be very well received. I know they'd appreciate that. Okay. I reckon it's an awesome story. I want to go get a camel now. I'm going <laughs> to kick, kick a few hoofs. We but, might see you on the trail. Well, I'm, 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 I was actually just sitting there thinking I should bring my camera along and make, <laughs> make a little show about it. But so what are you going to do when you finish the trip? Oh, good question. I haven't even thought about that. I just want to get um, right down Swanston Street in Melbourne <laughs> Actually, it just suddenly struck me. You'd be buying, uh, you'd be buying pain relieving ointment. <laughs> I'll have a lot of saddle soreness by the time I get there, no doubt. And so, um, yeah, we'll be, uh, we'll, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. But the first challenge is getting to Melbourne on camels. <laughs> and so how much money do you think you're going to raise out of all this? Oh, look, the, the money aspect, that goes straight through to um, Aussie, Aussie helpers. And I know they've got a couple of million dollars that they need to raise to um, achieve their, their uh, objectives. So if uh, people are able to get on to them through our site, Into the Rising Sun, um, you show that on your screen in a moment, mm -hmm. and um, that'll be well received. Oh, great. I reckon, guys, get onto the website. This yeah. is a fantastic <laughs> thing that he's Into doing. IntoTheRisingSun.com. Isn't yes. it amazing? Like, and, and is it .com or .au? No, it's, it's, just .com. A, it's just a .com, that one. Yep. I yeah. think it's fantastic that game shows can actually translate oh. into such a good cause. Uh, look, Nate, best of luck, mate. It sounds, it sounds really, really good. And the Nathan Camilleri, was that sort of like a, a, a play on Nathan Camilleri, the little guitar kid? Oh, it wasn't at all. I haven't made that connection, actually. Well, there but, we yeah, go. No, there's, so, there's something there, isn't there? If you go on the Into the Rising Sun, uh, com website, we'll have the links on wakeupwa.com. And so check that out. Get on board. It sounds like a great cause. Enjoy, the, enjoy the trip. Come and see us when you get back, mate. Will do. Thank you very much. <laughs>